Hello YouTube and welcome to lesson 12 of the Illustrator tutorial series. So today we're going to look at pen tool and how it works and how we can use it to manipulate tools. So pen tool itself is a very powerful tool that we can use to create designs. This is actually my very very favorite tool inside of Illustrator and Photoshop as well. So if I were to draw some shape I can simply click over here and you can see that I can instantly create a shape. So if I want to create a cube for example I can simply click four corners just like this. I can create another corner over here, just click over here, so you can see that I have my cube over here, and then over here I'm going to create another shape just like this, click, 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 and click, there you go, I have a basic cube, and that's how I use my pen tool to design shapes. So over here, uh, what I can also do is I can create curves, so if I want to create S for example, I'm going to disable the fill color, I'm just going to enable the stroke color, I can click, click and drag to uh, actually bend, click, click and drag to actually bend again, just like this, and click again, and press enter, and you can see that I can actually draw uh, any shape that I want. So, what if you actually want to, uh, let's say, modify the shape after you draw them? So, that is also possible through pen tool. So, usually, what I want to do is, I want to uh, enable the grid so that I can use this technique. So right now, what we can do by using this technique, let me just enable the snap to grid, grid as well so that I can create perfect shapes. We can easily create a square. Just click on four corners over here and you can see that we actually have a perfect square. So if I want to create a triangle, just click over here, take the guides and there you go, I have the triangle. And if I want to create a circle, what I want to do is I want to click over here, then I'm going to click and... Uh, uh, I'm going to just click and leave it. Alright, let me just create a diamond shape over here. Alright. And then over here, I'm going to create a circle. So I'm going to click over here. And since clicking and holding, uh, click, holding and dragging actually bends the layers, I can actually click and drag. I'm going to hold shift so that it does not actually go off board. So I'm going to hold shift so you can see that that makes it straight. So I'm going to uh, leave it. And I'm going to click it over here. I'm going to shift, click and drag over here and then I'm going to click it over here again. So now over here, this is one way of drawing a circle. Another way of drawing a circle would be to create a diamond shape first, press enter and now, now I want to modify the shape. So over here, uh, there's uh, anchor point tool which I can use to click and drag. So what it actually does is it actually helps me to remodify the shape over here. So I can simply click and drag and you can see that it actually bends it out. So I can actually, uh, this here, I cannot actually change it because this is the starting point. I'm going to click and drag over here. All right, click and drag at this section. Let me just click on this section right here. And then over here as well. All right. Okay, there you go. And you can see that I can easily modify the shape. And if I want to move around the shape right now, I cannot actually move around the shape. But if I want to move around the shape, simply hold, uh, simply hold, all right, so simply uh, click somewhere else over here. All right, so over here, simply hold the alt uh, the alt key. I should have moved over here, but it's not moving over here. All right, so I'm gonna simply disable the snap to grid over here to show you guys guys the effect. Simply click and drag. Uh, simply select an area. All right, of the pen tool. All right, so let me just grab over here. All right, hold Alt and then drag it. Hold Shift and then drag it. Okay, it's the Shift key. So if I were to Shift and drag it, then you can see that it moves the individual points over here onto the shapes. So if I want to move individual points onto the shapes, you can just Shift, hold and drag. And if I want to change the handle over here, you can see that this actually changed the handle. I guess this is fro frozen for a while. All right, okay. So simply select the shape over here. You just select the shape just like this. I'm going to change the handle over here, so I can just change this out, shift and drag. I can also change the handle to change the shape over here. So I can use various um, changing methods right after I actually make the shape as well. So just click and drag over here, so you can see that it actually changes the shape entirely. So over here, later, while making uh, shapes in pen tool, so if I were to click and let's say click and drag onto this section and, and I don't want the curve over here, I can actually alt click and 
uh, move my pointer over here uh, in the section in the center. So now what it does is it actually creates a straight line from that point onwards. So if I want to create shapes like these, then it is it becomes possible as well. So I'm just gonna hold uh, do the same, or I can hold Alt and click on that area, click on the point, so that it actually results in a uh, very uh, smooth area in a, in a very pointy area over there. So that's how I can create shapes over here in Illustrator. So you can use pen tool to create uh, different shapes, different logos inside of Illustrator and that is quite helpful. So if you can create any shape that you see over here with the use of uh, just pen tool. So that's actually quite enough uh, even if you don't have any other tools. So hope you guys learned something as always and as always please like, comment, share and subscribe.